can't put a chemical fire out with, uh, with water. water. <laughs> nope. I used to get that lecture every Saturday morning from Frank Zinn, our yard man. Vince, you can't put a chemical fire out with water. Come on back to my office. <laughs> we started in a small yard. The former James E. Tegg yard was at 4010 Germantown Avenue in nice town area of Philadelphia. We were asked to leave because the high school behind us, Gratz High, uh, needed a parking lot for their teachers. And we found a yard up on Belfield Avenue and we continue to run that yard as our Philadelphia headquarters. And since then we've branched out into a yard in Phoenixville, one in Media, a Doylestown location, and one in Kennett Square. I learned along the way that if a company's not growing, you can't support your staff and you can't enable your staff to grow. You know, your management team and uh, right on down the line, everybody wants to do better. And I get to see owners of lumber yards all over the country. Our management team is top notch. And we try and create an entrepreneurial atmosphere and spirit where these fellas know that that's their unit. They open it up in the morning, they close it down at night. It's really theirs to run. And we expect that of them. While we're meeting with them on a regular basis, they're meeting with their staff on a regular basis. You know, that's been a big part of our success that these people have been able to step up and, and really do the job that we need them to do. We like the culture we've built in this company by people being in the building and the exchange of ideas that takes place there. Mm -hmm. My dad and my grandfather would tell you that, you know, the founding of the business in Germantown, that was what this company was built upon, is that exchange of ideas. We try to recreate that with all of our locations. If you walk in there to the sales bullpen, they're in there talking to one another and listening to one another. We hope that we're able to create that at all of our locations because we think that's kind of like part of our special sauce. It makes us unique. When you're part of it, you care about it. You care about it more than you care about a normal nine to five job. A lot of our employees that have been with us for over 25 years care about it as much as the family. I think that's a huge part of staying successful and sticking through the hard times. I mean, it's been a hard year, but those employees are just as dedicated as we are.